An integral part of any design process is testing, testing and previewing. So let's take a look at that in this lesson. So I've started Autoplay Media Studio and I'm going to click on create a new project and from this screen I'm going to give it a name so I'll name it my new project and I'm going to select the virtual business card template because it's small and it's easy to follow. Then I'm going to click on the create project now button and we've got this project and if you guys want to follow along with my workspace what I've got is I've gone to view workspace layouts compact and then I've unpinned the properties inspector by clicking on the little pin icon here and there we go so okay we're gonna look at the two different kinds of previews we've got here as you can see this is a review of our template lesson we've got a complete project ready to go right we've opened a new template okay so let's go to page page preview first this is going to allow us to preview just a single page okay we're going to let that go through the reporting and building process and I'm going to minimize the application so you can get a clear look here so it's set up our application and it's run it but just the page we were on if we try and switch pages here for example to the intro page we get an entry error message saying that it doesn't do that so this is a page preview this is not a project preview now the advantage of a page preview is you can quickly view a page without worrying too much about running a bunch of code and the whole project wide stuff and see if your objects are in place if your images are good and make sure that your page is running right the disadvantage is that you can't jump from page to page and check your overall project functionality so that's left for I'm gonna go back into autoplay media studio here that's left for the project preview function and this is the one you're going to use more often than the page preview function. You can do this by pressing F5 anytime or by going to Project Preview. I usually use F5. I'm constantly hitting F5 throughout all my projects so I can make sure they're going right and everything's working out well. So let's minimize that. And we can see here it's running a Project Preview. And everything works fine. The buttons, we can jump from page to page and if we press the exit button it works everything works great basically this is the way that you test things and this is the way that you preview things so throughout the lessons and throughout all your design processes and all the time you spend with autoplay media studio you're going to find that you're going to want to do this a lot that's project preview so whenever i say let's preview our project what i'm referring to basically is pressing f5 and the last thing we're going to look at here actually is a uh, warnings in the build report so you notice there's a little report when you press F5 before it starts up um, let's go to our contact page and let's take one of the buttons like the introduction button and let's put it halfway off the page okay and now let's try and preview our project so do that and then press F5 now you can see what happens here it tells you zero errors but one warning so the build is completed successfully and the application will run however there's been a warning if we loop back on the text here scroll back you'll notice there's a line here that says warning object button info it, or sorry button intro and that's that button on page contact is outside of page area so it's warning us about that if we press continue to preview anyhow here's what happens We'll go to our, now of course it's starting on the first page, so let's click on contact to go to our contact page and look what's happened to our introduction button. It's cut it right off. It's gone. So it tried to warn us, but we went ahead anyway and we've paid the price here. So let's go ahead and click close. Go back into our Autoplay Media Studio application and just recap. I'm going to actually use the undo feature. There we go. Um, We've got our page preview and our project preview fu functions, and those are the two ways that we can preview our projects or our pages while we're designing them. So don't forget that, F5, whenever you're going through your project and you want to take a look at what you're doing and make sure it's going good, press F5.